Okay, it's about one o'clock on uh, September 13th. Yeah, 13th, 2021. Uh, on board Division Air, and um, so we have been super blessed and lucky here in Galveston that we have dodged hurricanes for the last two years. Uh, this is not a hurricane. Uh, the tropical storm Nicholas is going to hit further <coughs> south, southwest. Uh, around Texas, but it's going to cause the tides here to raise up. I was uh, going out to move my little Jeep to a better position so it doesn't get flooded in the parking lot uh, directly at sea level. So, And I passed a couple guys that had come down, I don't know, from Kima or Seabrook somewhere. And a lot of the, a lot of the larger, more expensive you know, motor yachts have moved out. Uh, I'm not going to bug out but I've got the lines loosened. Anyway, I was passing these guys and they were doing that loosening lines. And they said last year, I forget which, which hurricane it was that hit in Louisiana, but it raised the tides here, uh, don't do that, four or five feet. So as it is right now, you get off the boat, you step, well, it's pretty high right now, and you step down about three feet onto the concrete uh, pier, walk up, and then you step up a little bit and there's a wall there it's protecting us from the the main waves and all that on e dock here in galveston yacht basin well they said last year when that happened it raised up it was above it was about if you're up all the way onto the the walkway on the dock uh outside the slip the water would have been well more than chest deep i shoot the water they said it was up to where the numbers the slip numbers are painted so well, that's about head high for me. I'm not a tall guy. Either way, so if that were to happen, that's what you have to kind of plan for. Still better than a wave there in a hurricane. But uh, loosening the lines and then the I guess the one thing that stands out the most is you're not going to get off the boat. Uh, you know, if you, you're going to step off directly off the, the little entryway in the transom and you're going to have to step down, that would make it about five, six feet of water before you hit the concrete walkway and are even able to get up there. Then you kind of have to swim and you'll have the currents from, you know, we're in the Gulf and the bay is right, right there uh, across the wall. So um, you'd basically be stepping off into water. You'd have to swim from what I understand. It's exactly what they told me. So I moved the truck, the, the Jeep, little Jeep I got, and, um, I've loosened all the lines. It can, you know, I'll be able to go out and loosen them more if it raises that high. Hopefully, it won't. We did have a couple of little gusts of wind that were bending the palm trees. I mean, they were bending. That lasted about five minutes, and then a torrential rain for about five, ten minutes, and it was gone. In Galveston, it could be raining. It could look like the end of the world hurricane, and then you can go two miles another direction. It looks fine. Sun's out. It's just that way here, in a lot of places, I guess. But we're prepared. I got Super Dog with me. My little sea monkey, Ginger, three months old now, and we're hunkered down. <clears throat> I went and got a few groceries. The power's still on. If they were to shut down the power, yeah, we'd be all right. Um, dry goods, gro groceries, in case we are unable to leave the boat. Called a couple of friends, see if there's anything I could do before I'm, uh, you know, stuck here. And it, even if it were to raise up that high, which it may, then it's just a matter of waiting for it to recede way better position we're in here than the folks who are getting the brunt of it and what's happened in New Orleans again this year and what's happening had happened in Florida this year I think today might be the anniversary of Ike that's kind of crazy Hurricane Ike back in 2008 Whew. bad very bad it was a monster for a bunch of people actually ended up homeless after that when a lot of people did and it just wasn't much left anywhere so yeah, we're gonna hunker down, and that's my uh, little vlog, my little keeping track of what's been going on here. Have, still doing repairs on the boat. Actually, had someone offer to buy it from me for sixty-five hundred dollars, which I paid about a quarter of that. So it'd have been a nice uh, thing, but it is my vessel. I do own it. The slip fees are minimum. I'm living aboard. I've made a lot of aesthetic changes, added stuff. Uh, to make it it's my home now and I've been here three months feeling very comfortable it's still some work to be done to make it look a little more homey but right now it's completely functional and uh again there's my vlog september 13th 2021 come here monkey here. 
first mate, Ginger, is on board. Say hi, Ginger. Hi, Ginger. And we're doing fine. Stay tuned.